So here we have Unreal 5, and if we take a look, you'll recognize this is the third person perspective sample template. And so what I've done is I've added a scene capture component to the character, and that renders to a render texture. And then that render texture is sent over to a WebSocket server that's running Node. And then over here we have a browser. The browser has a WebSocket client. The WebSocket client receives the render texture images and displays them into a image element. And then you can see the mouse and keyboard events from the browser are sent back through the WebSocket server and then arrive over here in Unreal. And that input is injected into the character. Okay, so while it's full screened here, we have a FPS counter. I can keep track of how much data is being sent over the WebSocket. And the WAST keys and spacebar are mapped to messages that are sent back to Unreal. I'm capturing, so there's a little dip in the frame rate, but it's near around 30 frames a second. Images are using JPEG compression with the lowest size possible. Images are being sent one quarter of the HD resolution because they can be upscaled later. And you can use either DLSS or potentially something like an AI model that can upscale. And that way you can minimize how much bandwidth you're taking when you're streaming the video. Okay, so I can hit escape and then I'll give my pointer back and we can see that you can use input from either Unreal or from the browser. And right now I'm running a local server. Instead of running locally, you could always put the Node.js server on somewhere on the internet like AWS. And then you can have one machine talking to another machine or any other device, all they have to do is open a browser and they can interact with your Unreal 5 scene. All right, so that's a little overview and thanks for watching.